Hello, hello there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. For this video today, I want to talk about my ongoing progress in uh, improving my Hebrew through watching hours and hours and hours of Israeli television that I have found on YouTube. So I've been doing a number of videos over the past few weeks about various components of this methodology. I've been sharing them on the Hebrew subreddit, which is called Our Hebrew. I've been sharing my playlist in a couple of uh, Facebook groups. It's not an attempt at self-promotion. It's just because it's helping me and I'm certain that there are other uh, Hebrew learners who could be helped by this too. So I'm open sourcing uh, everything that I figure out essentially, which is also kind of why I started this YouTube channel. I just enjoy sharing all this stuff. So um, what I've been doing is I figured out a way to translate Hebrew captions into English. This is a YouTube feature called Automatic Translation. That has been around for about, I think the past year, I'm not entirely sure, but it works on the desktop to, if you have one human origin subtitle file, and I'll get to all the channels and playlists in a little while. If you've one human origin subtitle file, one subtitle file that wasn't created through speech to text recognition, someone actually sat down and created that file. Then using the YouTube desktop, there is an option in subtitle options called auto translate, and you can translate the Hebrew captions into whatever language you want, whether it's English, French, Russian, whatever is your mother tongue. And this for me is an amazing way to improve vocabulary and pick up new words. There, I learned recently there's actually a word to describe the point one gets to when, you know, it's kind of where my Hebrew has been stuck for the past couple of years, and I suspect lots more people. It's called the intermediate plateau. It's when you have enough language, you've got past the beginner phase, you know how to get by basic conversations, but you're lacking that kind of richness in otzar milim, in vocabulary that, you know, you want to describe something using precise adjectives and all you have is a really basic stuff and you end up sounding very basic and it's frustrating because you have the word in your mother tongue kind of circulating in your head, but you just can't hit on the Hebrew nuance. I would say that's kind of my, the, 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 the struggle of me is la being lacking nuance to express myself in Hebrew. So watching hours of TV has really helped. It's not something that um, comes naturally to me. I'm not a big TV watcher, but I'm setting aside two to three hours per night to open up my playlist, put them on the, put them on the, connect my laptop to the TV. And I just watch and watch and watch and, um, I'm going to show you guys the playlist I've built. I'm going to put them in the description. I'm going to put the Chrome extension that I've used to build these playlists quickly in the description. This is not, again, at a self-promotion. I'm just giving you all the tools I've been using so that if you want to improve your Hebrew using the same methodology, uh, you can go ahead and uh, do that. So firstly, this is the Chrome extension. It's called multi-select for YouTube and I built two really big playlists of content on YouTube that is uh, subtitled in Hebrew. Now the situation we have at the moment is that on the YouTube desktop user interface, in other words, if you open YouTube on your laptop or on your computer, there's going to be um, that auto translate button that is incredibly useful. Now, unfortunately, YouTube hasn't rolled out this feature in full on its smartphone apps yet. For instance, when I'm on my Android phone, if there's a video in English, I do, subtitled in English, I do actually get an auto translate option. But if the captions are in Hebrew, that option is missing. So it's a case of they're rolling out this feature on mobile devices slowly. There is a workaround. It's an app called Z Translate. I'll put that link in the description. I'm gonna show you guys that in a second. And that's what I've been using in um, when I'm on my phone, but to be honest, it just works a lot better from the desktop because you can simply bookmark your progress in a huge playlist full of videos. So uh, let's go through all the tools real quick to show you guys what I figured out, what works. This is the Chrome extension, as I mentioned. And if you want to create your own playlist of Hebrew videos, I'll show you guys how to do that. This basically puts these boxes um, you know, in front of uh, the videos. So instead of adding videos to a playlist one by one, you can add four, eight, 12 videos at a time. It just makes it way, way more quick. There's no way I could have built 
playlist with 2000 videos without this uh, multi-select plugin. Now, speaking of, uh, oh, by the way, I'm getting very close to the 1000 mark here on YouTube. When I do get to that milestone, hopefully just in a few days, I am, as I mentioned, going to be doing a bit of reorganizing on my channel. These Hebrew videos are gonna be probably on a separate channel or my Hebrew learning voyage. I will um, post an update when I've got that done, but it's uh, it's on my to-do list when I get nine more subscribers to get over that 1000 uh, milestone, which I'm really excited about. So in terms of the playlists, um, here are the ones I've built. Now this is one built on uh, the content posted on YouTube by Can Digital. As I've explained in other videos, Can is Israel's public broadcaster. It's called in English the Israel Public Broadcasting Corporation IPBC, but Can is kind of its moniker. And for whatever reason, on the Can Digital channel, not on other channels, they add subtitles, and this opens a huge reservoir of uh, content. So this is my playlist. There are 2,362 videos. So all you need to do, I'm gonna just open one video to show you guys how to how to use this um, in case any of that wasn't clear. You open up the playlist or open up a video. I'm gonna just pause it so I don't get like a copyright strike from uh, this TV company. And then when you click on captions, you're gonna see your Hebrew captions. Click on the setting icon, click on subtitles, and then go for this auto translate option and boom, you can translate these captions from Hebrew captions to English. And now, even though nobody's actually added English captions to this video, I'm able to translate the captions in real time and use all this content to learn. So that's the one I actually really wanted to draw attention to. Um, the other one I built is called Hebrew with Hebrew subtitles. Again, I'll put the link in the description. And it's kind of more varied. It's a bit of stuff I pulled in from Can. It's a bit of stuff I pulled in from other channels. Um, and by the way, another way to find content is to just Google a keyword, right? So if I Google, I'm just gonna open up YouTube here. I'm gonna put in Israel, uh, Israel. You click on to filters and then you click on to subtitles. And now you're only going to be finding content that actually is subtitled. Now, there's no way to filter on the language the subtitles are in, but this is all I've been doing for my videos is essentially thinking, how can I find more content in Hebrew with subtitles and adding that to huge playlists. And then at nighttime, opening a bottle of wine, opening hummus, drinking a cup of coffee, whatever you like, sit in front of the TV, watch. And if you, of course, if you wanna do this really, really methodically, um, you'd it'd probably be a good idea to have a notepad with you and just, you know, kind of pause the video whenever you encounter a new word, add that to a little um, notebook or something like that. But to be honest, there's so much content in the playlist I've built and the ones that anyone can build that you're probably going to get sort of repetition on the vocab just by watching a lot of it. So that's my method. I'm drawing, as I mentioned, most in videos from Can. Those are available for me on YouTube, although I am accessing this from Israel. So if it's geo-restricted, I don't know about it and I don't know how to get around it, but there probably are ways. If you are learning Hebrew, um, I hope, I know that I kind of packed a lot of info into this uh, nine minutes of video, but uh, I can say that as a Hebrew learner, as an Ole Chadash, this method may seem unconventional, but it's really, really working for me. It's just the flip side of how a lot of Israelis learn English just by watching lots of films. And it's been easier for them to do that for a long time because a lot of stuff um, produced in English gets worldwide captions. And now thanks to advances in YouTube's um, automatic translation of its captions, a whole world of Israeli content has opened up to Hebrew learners. And I think it's a great, it would be a great pity not to take advantage of it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you know of any other content in on the internet, whether in YouTube or elsewhere, that is uh, has subtitles that can be translated, I'm all ears, always looking for more stuff, but I can say after 200, watching 200 videos, my Hebrew has definitely improved and I can recommend this method. Thank you guys for watching. More videos coming to this YouTube channel shortly.